running especially like if you can do it and you're somebody that has you know uh, weight issues or body composition issues and you want to get lean shredded uh, whatever you whatever you have in your head running is a surefire way to do it uh, to give you guys a little bit of context i've been working out for about 10 years uh, i've been a pretty healthy guy for about 10 years always have stayed relatively in shape uh, but the one thing that's kept me back from really reaching my full potential physically is injury specifically knee injuries I have old man knees, quite uh, quite frankly. It started in college when I was 21 years old. I tore my ACL playing basketball. I came back onto the court way too soon and wind up fucking up my other knee. Um, and although I didn't tear anything at that time, fast forward about a year, I tore ligaments in my other knee as well. So, so my knee health has really been shit and it's prevented me from doing any type of long distance cardio. Um, anything that really involves heavy movement with the leg so even on my leg days like i don't go heavy on legs or i used to not be able to go heavy on legs um so my point in saying all this is i have not been able to run and i say this because you know i have been lifting for 10 plus years um and i have been dieting extensively and you know following every protocol for fat loss in regards to act in regards to exercise and nutrition within my own limits you know based on what i could physically do i went to turkey i'm half turkish i went to turkey not too long ago and gained a lot of weight not a lot of weight but i gained weight when i went to turkey and in turkey i did not go to the gym at all nor did i follow any type of diet and this was for about 30 days and when i had went to turkey i wasn't in the greatest shape to begin with so when I came back, I really was not in great shape and I'll probably have it up on the screen so you guys can see what I look like. Uh, granted, it's not like, you know, I was anything crazy overweight or anything like that. But my my point in saying this is that shape that you see is essentially the shape that I've been in for the last, let's say, two months, ever since I started running. Since I've started running, I'm going to show you guys what I look like now uh, on the screen, but you can see the difference that it's made. Um, and this is just two months of running i started running back in july you know i didn't run every single day because that would be too much for myself personally and on my knees i didn't want to take that risk but uh, i ran about every other day granted there are some days where like i just couldn't run or you know because i also lift as well so there were really just some days i was so beaten down that i really wanted to take like a couple days off whatever the case was but i ran i think it's been about 30 times at least uh over the last two months so each time i've run you can see i only do about two miles uh usually i do two miles sometimes i do under sometimes i do a little bit over but two miles is my goal it's a good goal for me two miles over the course of two months every other day essentially was enough to not only whip me back into shape but probably put me in the best shape of my life i'm as lean as i've probably ever been without losing any strength that was another thing too that i was worried about was losing strength by uh starting to run which as long as you uh diet properly and you eat enough calories and you know you're, you're eating the right things that's not something that you really have to worry about even after like the first two weeks of running you know you take your shirt off and you're like bro this shit works but it's hard. Um, it's not easy to consistently run, but you have to do it. Now, of course, you have to do everything safely. So, you know, for me, I was able to do it every other day. A lot of you might not be able to do it every other day, um, but I want you to focus on consistency and finding something, finding a routine that's going to work consistently for you. So if it's every two days or if it's every three days, um, then then do it. Um, you know, even if you want to do every other day, but instead of running for every other day, you're walking every other day. Um, that to me, you know, would, would work as well. But the main thing is just pick a goal, pick a distance goal, uh, find a routine that's going to get you to hit that goal. That's going to get you to, to hit that goal over a, a number of days per week. And, you know, you can experiment with running too. Like, you know, like I said, if you have a mile as a goal, the first time you do it, maybe you just walk the entire thing. And then the next time you do it, maybe you walk half a mile and then you jog half a mile. And then the next time you do it, maybe you walk for every point one mile. So like every point, you know, one mile, you're switching off between walking and running until you get to the one full mile. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a mundane thing where you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again. 
Um, and then within, you know, for me, it was two months. For some people, it might be two and a half, three months. But I guarantee you, if you do it consistently and you approach it the right way from the beginning, uh, you're going to see results within the first two weeks. And once you start seeing those results, it's going to convince you to want to keep going on. And that's just how it works. And then your body will adjust to running. So as uh, horrendous and as tormenting as running seems right now, it's only going to get that much easier. I mean, for me, because I hated running and you, I have fucked. I have fucked up knees like I do so for me it was a mental aspect as well as running like I don't have a problem pushing myself you know that's the thing with me is like I've been going to the gym for about 10 years so me being able to mentally push through shit is not hard um it's where I'm physically limited but when you're recovering from injury and you're physically capable but your mind doesn't think you're physically capable that's a whole other ball game that you have to play so for me when I started running again the first couple of weeks were just like getting past that mental fatigue of like I should stop because my knees are gonna you know my knees are gonna whatever uh when in reality you know I was I was actually fine so there's gonna be mental hurdles that you're gonna have to overcome but once you and the thing is that's why you need to be consistent with it because it's long as you're consistent those mental hurdles you'll overcome them a lot quicker and then they won't appear again but if you do something a couple of times and then you fall off once and then you do it again but then you fall off again those hurdles are always going to be there because you've never built any consistency or momentum to essentially you know to build progress or to, to, to build upon that so uh, i'm just saying all this to tell you guys that cardio is super important but running especially like if you can do it and you're somebody that has you know uh, weight issues or body composition issues and you want to get lean shredded uh, whatever you whatever you have in your head running is a surefire way to do it just make sure that you do it safely um you know if you haven't ran before you know make sure you look up and and research how to properly stretch beforehand or go if you're running and you're doing another physical activity later in the day you don't want to be eating too little or else over time even though you might feel fine it will have a, a negative impact so just make sure that you're doing the right things uh, make sure that your lifestyle can support you being able to run consistently but if you're in a position um like i'm sure a lot of you are where you can afford to do it uh you, you know there's not much risk involved with you doing something like that then if you want to get shredded and you know look really really fucking good there's not a much more effective way of doing it um and then on top of that you know you can the most effective form of any cardio is fasted cardio so i like to focus on running on an empty stomach you know i usually intermittent fast i i eat my meals from about 1 p.m to 7 p.m every day so i run in the morning 10 a.m 11 a.m but every time i'm running it's usually on an empty stomach. Uh, not that, you know, again, and if you guys are just starting out running, don't go out on a fasted stomach running two miles if you've never done it before because you're going to have a terrible time. And just make sure you do things smartly. If you need help or you have questions, like I said, please reach out to me. When you go running, having a watch that's tracking your heart rate at all times will essentially let you know how hard you're working and if you need to work harder. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind and pay attention to. You know, you don't have to track your all of your runs, but it's going to help you in the long run. But that's all I got, guys. I'll see you on the next one.